but sour it queen blueberry maintaining her beauty has become the duty of queen blueberry she'll wear anything with an essence of bling to disguise she's no longer 19 her attitude spites her for deep down inside her it seems she's not fit for a queen come one come all to the most fair fair the yearly fair here in the kingdom of most fair tomorrow the most beautiful in the kingdom will be named how much you want to bet it's the queen again <laughs> I'm here, Your Majesty! Grab a rope, Eddie! This headdress is squishing my head! Then why wear it? Because it looks spectacular! Can you move it a little to the left? Oh! I need more concealer, no? Queen! Oh. She yearns for true beauty, but the mirror's refusing to show her what she wants to see. That her crashing sound means her castle is bound to break into pieces tonight. If the queen doesn't change soon, then most fair is doomed, and we'll all have to be you. Good night. Ow. But Prince Larry, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, but I can't say the same for the castle. What a shame. It was a lovely hat. Queen Blueberry, don't you think this is a bit much, just to look beautiful? I must be named the most beautiful in the kingdom tomorrow as the most fair fair, according to my Granberry's beauty decree. If I may say so, my queen, you do hold the power to change the decree. And why would I need to change the decree? Am I not the most beautiful? You're amazing. Oh, you're made of puppies and rainbows. Besides, my cranberry would never have passed the beauty decree if appearance was not the most important thing in the kingdom! <laughs> oh, cranberry, what am I to do? <laughs> I must be the most beautiful! <laughs> the key to beauty? Queen Blueberry, I don't know if you should touch that. Oh! You rang. Oh! The mirror speaks! Must be from Sharper Image. I am at your service. Ask me anything, Queen. Anything. Uh, am I the most beautiful in the kingdom of most fair? Why, if by beauty you mean the most decorated or wearing the finest clothes, then yes, you are. But if true beauty is what you seek, then your answer is Sweet Pea Beauty. Sweet Pea Beauty? Sweet Pea! Oh, Sweet Pea Beauty! But no one told the queen amidst the forest fields of green That blueberry son Prince Larry called Miss Sweet Pea his best friend Over yonder hills of Minstrel gold Dave. You said friend. Yes, it rhymes with queen and green. Minstrel songs are supposed to rhyme. But friend isn't a word. I was going to say spleen, but that would have taken the song in a whole different direction. <gasps> Sweet pea, sorry I'm late. I almost got crushed by a falling headdress. Again. Isn't it the most gorgeous day? If you don't mind the mud. That was quite a rainstorm last night. But if it never rained, we couldn't make mud castles. You're so odd and awesome all at the same time. Can you hear the bees so pleasing with this buzzing in my ears? And though the skunk scent is repelling, we've been loyal friends for years. And if I'd never peeled an onion, I wouldn't value all my tears. There's so much more here to explore. so much good in everything. 
It's God who sees the beauty in everything. I just choose to agree with him. My father taught me that God gave everything a purpose, but we can only see it if we look deeper than the way something <laughs> or someone looks on the outside. Look here. Underneath the soil, worms crawling make the flowers smell so sweet. And the muddy rivers flowing is the way to cool my feet. What I thought were imperfections make a world God calls complete. There's so much more here to adore. like getting close to nature. Come with me. I want to show you a book my father and I have been reading. I smell like a wet dog. <laughs> there, there, Queen Blueberry. It's nothing that can't be fixed. Can't be fixed? I am no longer the most beautiful in the kingdom. That means someone else is going to be queen. Not necessarily. What? Uh, by the way, your mascara is running. I don't think you should trust this mirror. Away! I do not want you to see me like this. As you wish. <laughs> oh, mirror, this is terrible news. So what if there's one girl prettier than you? It's easy to banish one girl. <gasps> really? I do it every few decades. You just sprang to life. Ah, so you don't know your history. I have helped your grandmother and your mother. Let me help you. You will once again be the most fair of all. Oh, but how? Try my special espresso. It's a secret recipe that brings out the best in you. What do you mean? Whatever is inside your heart is how you will finally look on the outside. Oh, my heart is so pretty. Tastes funny. Ah, yes. This sweet pea shall be banished. <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, I'll tell you later. Father. Howdy, sweet pea. Prince Larry, could you give me a hand moving a chunk of the castle? Man, this place keeps falling apart. Somebody's got to start taking care of it instead of just worrying about her looks. Daddy! What's wrong with trying to look fabulous? It's a royal family tradition. I'll get that book I wanted to show you. <sighs> Whoa! Oops. Here it is, in Proverbs. Charm is deceptive and beauty does not last, but a woman who fears the Lord will be greatly praised. What does that mean? It means there are more important things than how you look on the outside. In other words, how beautiful is your heart? I thought hearts were all squishy and lumpy. The inside of your heart, yeesh. It just seems to me that since God made us, his definition of beautiful is the one that's really true. And you have a salad on your head. Look, she befriends the prince. Ah, you have hands. When did you grow hands? <laughs> I uh, always had hands. You just didn't notice. I think I'd notice a mirror with hands. You're missing the point. Sweet Pea is attempting to trick her way into your kingdom through your son. Yes, she is. And we will banish her. Hmm. You get more beautiful every day. So, how do you banish someone? And so, the 
queen gave ear to evil words, evil words. and that is where this tale gets so worse. Much worse. Oh, sweet pea is our hero still. She's going to get chased over that hill. I am? Just giving you a head start. Scram, kid. She oh, no. vanished, she vanished, our lovely sweetly vanished. She has done nothing wrong, as we shall be telling the song. The queen is jealous, nothing new, but threatened by this new. There's nothing desperate she I won't do. So sweet, he's gone. However... There's a however? There's always a however in princess stories. However... Little did the scallions know that high towers aren't enough to hold the kindness of a godly girl whose heart alone could change the world. However... Another however? She's banished, oh, banished, the lovely sweet pea banished, though she escaped from harm. The scallion sounded the alarm. The queen has made a solemn vow to rid herself of sweetie sweet now. No pretty girls will be allowed. And stay out. Now that sweet is gone. You fellas really don't understand the concept of personal space. Personal space. Oh. oh, hello, Gaspard. I can't swim right now. I'm very sad. Because the Queen's guards banished me from the kingdom, and I don't understand why. I've never done anything to her. And now I'm lost, deeper into the forest than I've ever been before. What will I eat? Where will I sleep? Oh, I suppose I'll sleep here. Thanks, Gaspard. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone home? Oh, dinner. <laughs> oh, this bowl is too hot. This bowl is too cold. And this bowl is just... Ew. Cleaning the laundry? Oh, now that's more like it. Get off my mattress, huh? crazy trespasser! What? A pee under the mattress. No wonder I couldn't sleep. Not a pee, intruder. Seven peas. I am Greeny, and this is Gordy, Gravy, Goober. How do? Goffer, Gusto, and Unbrilliant. I can fit an acorn in my belly button. We are the seven snow peas. Why, you're adorable. We know. Our adorableness is why we were banished. That queen does not like anything distracting people from her beauty. Something's wrong with most fair. Every generation, the royal family starts out okay, but then they start banishing the beautiful people. They go banishing crazy. It's like a hobby. And that's when the kingdom starts falling apart. If only we weren't so adorable. Oh, the humanity. I blame the bouncing. When we bounce, it's so cute, you could kick yourself. Well, thank goodness I found you. Do you have anything I could eat? No, but there's an apple tree down by the castle wall. Who's up for a hike? Wait a second. You know how to get back to Most Fair? Of course, but we're not allowed inside. We are banished. It's like a hobby. I can't. But there are eight of us. That's more than the Queen's guards. Gilfer, why didn't you think of that? <laughs> Your Majesty! Your Majesty, please! Ah! <sighs> You're interrupting my beauty sleep. Ah. Uh -huh. What news do you bring of Sweet Pea? Uh, um, she she escaped far into the forest. Escaped? Will she be able to return? We can't be certain. What? Away with you all. But your majesty. Away! 
Something not quite right about that mirror. What do we do? To the archives. You will never be at peace as long as you know she is out there. More beautiful than you. But what can I do? I'm afraid Sweet Pea will return. And where do I banish her then? She makes friends in every corner of the world. She has won the heart of my only son. Then you do not banish her. You finish her. What do you mean? This special hot apple cider will call Sweet Pea to sleep forever. Where did you get that? Family recipe. Trust me, one sip and she's asleep. And if she never awakens, she can never rule. But, but she would never know another sunrise. She would never know love. But if she becomes queen, it is you who she will banish. I never thought of that. Talk about ungrateful. Your Majesty, we've captured trespassers. What? Who is it? It's Sweet Pea and those adorable jumping beans that were banished years ago. Beans? Please, we are peas. Do I look like a Lego? They're so cute, I could kick myself. Should I throw them in the dungeon? Guards, let them go. What? what? All is forgiven. I shall make amends by hosting a dinner in Sweet Pea's honor. I have to say, this plan worked better than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner it is, your majesty. Tonight, we shall end this. <laughs> you laugh at very strange moments. <laughs> Forsaking sweet pea forever, the queen took a villainous stand. For no one remained who knew of this scheme Could warn the prince of her plan Except us! Oh yeah, we know about it, don't we? Let's go get the prince! <sighs> oh, sorry I'm so sleepy. It must be this big turkey dinner. I think I'll go to bed. Nonsense! <laughs> Here, let us welcome you back to Most Fair with a toast. I always burn toast. A drink. Some hot apple cider to relax you. You want to be well rested for the announcement at the Most Fair Fair. <laughs> ah! What is that thing? Oh, don't let his looks fool you. That's Gaspard. He always helps me when I'm in danger. <laughs> There's no danger here, buddy. <laughs> so, what announcement? Why, the announcement of who in the kingdom is the most beautiful. It happens once a year, and it happens tomorrow. Oh, I don't care about that sort of thing. You... you don't? No. God made us each beautiful in a special, unique way. Why would we think one of us is better than the others? You... you think I am as beautiful as you? It's what's on the inside that counts. I mean, let me be honest. I haven't agreed with your decisions recently, but there must be much good in you, for you raised such a kind and generous son. He is remarkably like myself. And you showed my father such kindness by hiring him when he could not find work. I am awesome that way. <laughs> Stay focused. Don't let her change your mind. So I choose to trust that you have a good heart. You... what? God says that outward beauty will not last. But beauty on the inside is what truly matters. Don't listen to her. That's far more important than how you look, don't you think? Why, now that you mention it, I... And you welcomed me back into the kingdom, didn't you? For that, I salute you. Oh, sweet pea! To the queen, the most fair of all. Sweet pea! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> what have I done? Now the crown will be mine! <laughs> Why do you care about the crown? That's been his plan all along! 
My advisors! Something about that mirror didn't set right, Your Majesty, so we checked the kingdom's history and uncovered an interesting fact. The mirror has been after the crown since the days of your Granberry. He tricked her into signing the beauty decree, knowing one day he could overthrow the monarchy. What? Then why were you helping me? I wasn't helping you, Queen Blueberry. Or should I say, Lady Blueberry? What? I am still queen! But you are no longer the most beautiful. <gasps> what? And thanks to you, the only other who could possibly have taken the crown is out of the picture. Sweet pea! And now I will rule! So hand over that crown! Not if I have anything to say about it! Or sing about it! Prince Larry! Son! Minstrel! You didn't deceive us all. Some of us know what true beauty is. So step aside, Mirror. You will not take the crown. Just watch me. <laughs> the crown! Sweet Pea! Sunk! Minstrels! Action scene! La la! La 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 la! La ta ta ta! Yip 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 yip! Yip 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 ta 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 ta! Bumpy 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 destroying the castle! A crumbling castle is much better for throwing! Wow! You almost hit me! That's the idea! As great Prince Larry ducked in fear, one detail became cloudy clear. The princely and the noble man he had a plan. What was he thinking? What was he thinking? They're right. I need a plan. If only I had some way to dodge these rocks. I wish I were more bouncy. Did someone say bouncy? La la. Bouncy. That is so cute. Larry, be careful! I don't want you to get hurt. I won't get hurt, Mom. Incoming! Ow! But I do want you to stop him from getting that crown. You might as well give up, Mir. You're never gonna reach that. Crown. Don't anybody move. Mom, he's gonna drop Sweet Pea. Face it, Blueberry. You will never be as beautiful as Sweet Pea as long as she lives. Mom, do something. She was right. Where? She was right all along. I have been so ugly in my heart, not caring for anyone or anything but myself. That is no way to lead a kingdom. I am no longer fit for the crown. You are now, Queen Blueberry. You woke up? You see, there is beauty inside of you. God made you so beautiful, and you're finally beginning to see it. You drank the wrong drink. Turkey dinners always make me sleepy. Well, then what happened to the real drink? Mirror! I don't care about that crown anymore! I order you to let that girl go! As you wish. Wait! I should have phrased that differently. No! Fine! You may have saved Sweet Pea, but I still have the crown! I can shoot an acorn out of my belly button! Where? No! <laughs> Wow. 
Look at what I have done. But, Your Majesty, you had been tricked. No. I was consumed with myself long before the mirror spoke. I made my own choices, and I have allowed everything around me to grow ugly. What will we do now? We will rebuild this kingdom, but we will make it truly beautiful. On the inside, as God says. You will end the mistakes of your mother and grandmother. And I will do it all with the help of my son and his best friend, Sweet Pea. It's more beautiful. It's more wonderful. Like it's the day before me is better than the last. It's so Love for me makes this whole world more beautiful And I listen as God whispers that's beautiful to me I listen as God whispers you're beautiful Blueberry found reason to wear the crown and reveal her true beauty within. The kingdom's much brighter with God's love inside and a dream that is fit for a queen. She 